Hey guys, it's Chris from Chris's Treasure Chest. How you doing? Uh, near the end of May. I think we've got, uh, it's the Tuesday before we close out the month. Um, and I wanted to do uh, a quick pick video. I found some good stuff in the last couple of weeks and I wanted to kind of show you what I found, where I found it. Uh, did some garage sailing on the weekend, not a hell of a lot. We uh, found a couple of things and I'm going to show you two of them. Um, but I do want to feature some things that I did get. Uh, thinking about uh, what I've been doing the last month, uh, I've been trying to change my business model a little bit, and I'll tell you what I've been doing. I'm trying, uh, right now, I have around 600 items in my store. My wife, she's got about, I think, 800 in her store. And what I'm trying to do now, I'm trying to rationalize and reduce the amount of inventory that I have on this cheaper product. So a lot of this stuff is the stuff that I purchased a long time ago that I've been flipping relisting 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 i am now blowing them out by price and what i'm trying to do is um I, i'm just trying to get them out i want to rationalize and this is what i'm thinking if i i want to sell five items where i make eight to nine hundred dollars i don't want to sell five items to make 150 dollars and that's where i'm going and i'll show you how i'm getting there now and how we're working at that how, how i'm working to get to that model anyways Let's look at the stuff that I've been picking, um, and um, we'll go from there. And if you got any questions, please put them down below. So I'm just going to grab the camera here. Okay, so we're going to start. Um, I'm just going to start over here on this one, the first one here. Hold on, guys. Sorry about the camera. So right here, this is a this is a uh, CR2. Um, this is a, a paintball bunker. It's four feet tall. Um, there's there's three different models you see them right there I've got the one in the middle there and it looks like kind of like that well actually I'll flip it over you'll see what it looks like oh I thought there was a picture I guess there's not so it look, kind of looks like the one in the middle sorry and I thought there was a picture on the back so this thing is brand new in the box I picked this up brand new sealed with instructions I picked this up at uh, Salvation Army um, in Brampton I picked it up for nine dollars this sells for 200. Um, I have it for 159 or 149 right now. I got offered 100 bucks the other day and I turned it down. I know it's worth more. Uh, a diehard paintball guy is gonna pick it up. Second thing I found at my restore down the road, this is, these are the Habitat for Humanity locations. This was a, a donated item. This is brand new sealed, never been opened. Uh, old stock, I don't know the year. 2009 I believe I picked this up I think for 10 bucks I can't remember and I'm selling it for 89 they go for 89 and especially it being brand new there was two different models there was one that did eight uh, it was a remote control for eight up to eight items this one only does up to six I don't know if it's gonna hurt uh, hurt me in selling it but we'll find out as time goes on um, the next thing I picked up, and I picked these up today actually on my way home, a bunch of Simpsons sealed dolls. Now I got these at the Value Village. You can see the prices, $9.99, $7.99, up to $14.99. And I had a 30 off, so I got a good deal. I'm going to put these in a lot. I'm thinking for about $100, $110 and see if they sell. Um, if they don't, then I'll break up the set. I'll probably go $29 or $39 each. I checked them out. They do vary in price depending on the condition. These are completely sealed 100% uh, in, in, in their packaging. All right, so now two garage sale finds on the weekend. And um, this was a gentleman that had both. The first one he had on the table was this realistic TRC45 CB trans, uh, trans receiver. Now I'm starting to look for these guys. If you remember back in my old videos, I picked up one for a boat. I think I paid 20 for it, 20, 25 bucks for it. And I sold to hundred to a guy in California, completely sealed. This is an excellent condition complete. Um, he had $50 on it. Uh, we negotiated down to uh, 40. And if this was brand new in the box, these are selling on eBay up to $700. I have it on right now for 200 and I've got six watchers overnight. I just listed this. And then I was speaking to him, I asked him if, if, um, if he had anything else in the house, like old vintage receivers or cassette decks or, or things like that. And he said, well, I got a double cassette deck in the basement 
I said, what kind? And he said, I'll go get it. And she had this Sony here, guys. The model number is w, uh, TCW345. This thing works perfectly. It's got a few scratches on it. It's basically brand new, never used. Um, he brought it out. I offered him 10. He said 15. I said sold. Um, I'll probably get 69. I'll pair it off with, uh, with some uh, blank cassettes uh, with this. So... Um, so those are the things I have found uh, and I wanted to show you quickly on the quick pick of, of the week. Let me just get back, sit down here and we can, we can do a little bit of summary. Now I want to tell you, when I was out e-banging, this is my strategy now. If I go to a little uh, later in the morning, what I like to do when I go in and start talking to people, I made a lot of connections and I tell them, I said, hey, this is what I do. This is what I'm looking for. If you ever have find it or you ever find something like that, what I'm looking for, give me a call and I'll pay you cash for it. And I met this couple of people who said, hey, you know, my mom is downsizing and she's clearing the house out and uh, she, you know, she's going to unload uh, a bunch of stuff. Why don't you come take a look at it and maybe buy it from me? And I, and I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm starting to promote that more and more. Um, I have a good customer now uh, in Milton. She calls me every once in a while. Uh, I got a beautiful Betamax machine off of her. Um, fortunately, it needs service, but it is a very rare Sony uh hi-fi Betamax that um, I can sell even as is for you know over 200 uh, so I'm, I'm trying to make those connections at, at these garage sales uh, uh, Sherwin picking for treasure he's a guy in Canada that I'm following and shout out to him um, he's got a bit of a different uh, philosophy he goes to a lot of local town towns picking I'm gonna try he gave me a couple of leads I'm gonna try uh, uh, doing them Sherwin uh, I'll let you know how I do we might even run into each other and have a coffee uh, I'm going to be trying to hit some of those, um, but it's tough because I'm, I do a lot of different, I have a lot of different channels in picking, so um, I, I'm just trying to find out what the best uh, paths are to get to that formula that I was telling you earlier where I want to sell less for more money. Um, I'm, I don't think it's working less, I just think it's working smarter. Um, and these are some of the ways I'm, I'm hitting those numbers. I'm not saying I'm going to stop buying stuff sell for 20 25 bucks if it's a quick flip of course i'm talking about buying the stuff that you're trying to sell for 25 bucks that doesn't sell in six months i'm done with that i'm just sick and tired of holding the inventory i don't want it anymore um this format seems to be working for me um and again we'll try it for the summer and i'll let you know uh, where we get uh, on this um i think that's about it guys uh please thumbs up if you like the video uh, any comments down below please I answer them uh, I want to appreciate all the new subscribers uh, it's nice to see um, how many people are doing a very similar thing to me in Canada and uh, you know the more people uh, that we get connect we connect with in our venture the more we all learn together um, and we all help each other that's what I truly believe uh, how we can all be successful in this anyways guys Chris from Tri Chris's treasure chest Hope you like my video. Until next time, I will have my monthly recap. Uh, I should do it this weekend. Got some good scores and I had some great sales. I'll let you know what the numbers are like uh, for the month of May. Talk to you later. Sorry guys, I'm back. Um, I kind of butchered uh, Sherman's uh, YouTube channel. It's actually Picking for Treasure with Sherman. Uh, sorry, Sherman. I, I I thought it was the other way around. Anyways, guys, check out his channel. Um, he he does a lot of uh, look, like I said, town picking, and he does a little bit of storage stuff too, which is interesting. Uh, and and you'll see what he finds. Anyways, guys, that's it for now. Till next time, uh, Chris from Chris's Treasure Chest. Talk